So time for the big one then, the Cheltenham Gold Cup, three miles, two and a half furlongs, and a big, big field for this. Everybody likes to get at least one runner in the Gold Cup, don't they? And we've got a fascinating field this season with no real standout at the top. We've got Bucko, winner of last year's Whitbread Gold Cup for Martin Liam, Cottage Rake, Craig Beckwith, Q Card, David Hooley, Lord Tennis Graham, Cottle, Leaf River, Darren Thompson, Lord Decoy, Padraig Hogan, Master of Shadows, Joshua Sutherland, McGuro Blade, Padraig Hogan, Patricius Brig, Stu Gray, the Broken One, the favourite for Joshua Sutherland, Blackburn Steel, uh, David Robertson, Blood Eagle, Leon Van Rensburg, Bronwyn Killing, David Robertson, Brooks Chowin for Daniel French, Catherine the Great, Paul Rhodes, Founder of Voice, Leon Van Rensburg, Lint, Darren Thompson, Magical Times, David Hooley, Quake, Paul Rhodes, Velvet Top, Graham Clutterbuck, and What No Son, Craig Beck with 21 of them in the rain, and away they go in the Cheltenham Gold Cup, and make their way towards the first of the fences then, and we see them from the inside of the track, they've got 22 to take and Quake is the one that's leading. Let's hope the fence isn't too close to the winning post as they get to this first one. And Quake's gone! Well, the four are at the first and Quake is out of it. And that's a bit of a surprise. And as we've lost one already, and down to the next. And there we go, that's the second. And that will be the final fence on the well, two circuits time, so he should be okay for a running on the chase course at least. So Leaf River then has got through into the lead then in the Gold Cup. So Leaf River leads the Gold Cup field then out on their first full circuit with Catherine the Great in second. Then comes the Broken One who's already close up. Then comes Velvet Top and Patricia's Brig and then Bucko's close up as well. The field is pretty tightly packed with the loose horse showing the way as they get into the third. They're all safely over the third although Graham Clutterbuck's Grey Lawn Tennis didn't jump in all that well and nothing seems all that keen to go on. It looks like we're going to get a tactical, slowly run Gold Cup with no real front runner at the moment as they take the water. And they're all safely over the water with Lord Decoy now probably just about showing in the lead. And then a line of about five behind. A very slow pace in the Gold Cup then as they race down towards this ditch. And they're all safely over the ditch with Lord Decoy in the lead. Patricia's Brig right over on the far rail just second. Master of Shadows on the outside is third. Then the Broken One and they get over the next one. Cottage Rake is after that. Looking towards the back. Blood Eagle is the early back marker. But it's Lord Decoy who's in the lead. But I don't think he wants to be there to be honest. Doesn't seem all that keen on opening up any sort of gap on the rest of them as they get into this ditch. And they're all safely over the ditch. Good jump there by the broken one. I've seen that one jump into the lead. And I'm not sure that one wants to be in the lead either. So it's pretty much a case of after you, Claude, at the moment as they take the eighth with nothing wanting to go on at all. In a very strange running of the Cheltenham Gold Cup. Maguro Blade has now come through to just about take the lead from Lord Decoy in second. Patricia's Brig on the inside is next, and then comes the broken one. Bucko is close up as they take the next plain one. They're all safely over that one. Mistake at the back by Magical Times. But Patricia's Brig on the inside is now just about in front. And as they make their way down towards the next end, they're into the final two miles in now of the Cheltenham Gold Cup. And Patricia's Brig really took a dive at that one, but got away with it. And now Cottage Rake has come through to take it up. So we must have had six different leaders so far. And every time anything gets into the lead, it slows down and lets something else go past. It's Brooks Shawan now, who is the new leader. And then Master of Shadows on the outside has come through to take it up. So a curiously run race this one as Master of Shadows gets into the lead from Brooks Shawan in second. Patricia's Brig on the inside is third. Then the broken one, Lord Decoy. And Lawn Tennis and Cottage Rake and Lintz, and then Bucko and Blackburn Steel and Catherine the Great, Leaf River, then Blood Eagle and Found Her Voice, cue cards after that as they get over the 11th, and they all got over the 11th okay with Master of Shadows. Now it would seem going to be taking on the lead for a while as they come to the fence that'll be the last on the next circuit. And they're starting to race a little bit now, maybe, as Master of Shadows is the leader. So turn it off now, then past the big screen, and out for one more circuit in the Cheltenham Gold Cup. It's Master of Shadows that shows the way. Lord Decoy is in second. Lawn Tennis is third, and Cottage Rake is four. Broken One is five, and then Blackburn Steel, and then Catherine the Great, and Brooke Sherwin, and Lintz, and Kew Garden found her voice, and then Maguro Blade, and Patricia's Brig, Leaf River, Bronwyn, Killing, Bucko, Magical Times, What No Sun, Blood Eagle, and finally, a little detached from the others velvet top as they get over the next 
and they're all safely over that one with Blackburn Steel now having come through to take the lead it's Blackburn Steel then by about half a length to Lord Decoy in second as they get to the water and they're all safely over the water jump with found her voice now coming through to take a share of the lead so somebody keeping count of how many leaders have had in this race it's lord decoy in front as they get to this ditch over the ditch they go and there's probably no more than 12 lengths first to last and that includes velvet top but it's lord decoy who's the leader into this next play one from on the inside a good jump there by the broken one bit of a gap then to found her voice bucko blackburn steel is still there now coming around the outside leaf river has suddenly come through with a good looking run after that one, Bronwyn, Killingbrook, Shawin still there. There's plenty of chances as they get to this ditch. Over the ditch they go. And it's the broken one. And Lord Decoy from Bucko's gone into third. Brook Shawin, Leaf River. They get over the 18th and they're all safely over the 18th with Patricia's Brig now. Drop to the back with Blood Eagle. They race downhill and they swing left-handed. And it's Lord Decoy who's gone to the front again from the broken one in second. Brook Shawin is in third. Bucko still there on the inside fourth. Then comes Bronwyn Killing. Found her voices next. Over the 19th they go and they're all safely over that one. And they've got just three to take. In the Gold Cup then, three more fences to take. Cottage Rakes come through to challenge the lead. So too's Lawn Tennis. It's a wide open race. This is they get over to third last. And Cottage Rakes now gone on. Cottage Rakes gone for home, I think. Lawn Tennis is in second. Then comes the broken one, Lord Decoy. Lintz is after that one. Then comes Leaf River and Blood Eagle. They're racing down towards the final three furlongs in the Cheltenham Gold Cup. They've got two more fences to take. And Cottage Rake is in the lead from Lawn Tennis on the inside. Right over on the far rail, Lord Decoy and the broken and one then leave river he's still trying to get it master of shadows he's trying to run on so too's lintz and blackburn steel they're coming down towards the second last now and the broken one and lord decoy over on the far side from up the center of the track cottage wreck then found her voice blackburn steel master of shadows they've only got one more fence to take in the gold cup they're racing down towards the final fence and there's still eight could win it they go to the last one mistake by cottage wreck here comes the on the outside, Blackburn Steel has now come through to take it up. It's Blackburn Steel from Lord Decoy, Master of Shadows. It's Blackburn Steel in the lead. Blackburn Steel racing up the hill towards the line. And Blackburn Steel is going to win the gold cup. Blackburn Steel wins it. Catherine the Great was second. And a very strange gold cup there. But David Robertson will not mind one bit. And Blackburn Steel, an unthought of horse, really has taken this at a hundred to one and we were saying earlier in the season that or well, earlier in the week that David Robinson has been concentrating more on the flat well if that's what concentration on the flat does for you it gets you a Cheltenham Gold Cup winner so Blackburn Steel for David Robertson wins the Gold Cup Master of Shadows for Joshua Southern was second Lord Decoy for Padraig Hogan was third Catherine the Great for Paul Rhodes was fourth and found her voice for Leon Van Rinsburg was fifth down the list, Cottage Rake was going but made a really bad mistake at the last. The broken one finished eighth. Bucko finished quite well in ninth out of a trip that was too short. Leaf River was disappointing. Paul Road saw Quake be the only faller in the race at the very first fence. Q card was a bit disappointing as well today. And so there you go then. So the Cheltenham Gold Cup has gone up to David Robertson, Blackburn Steel.